Welcome to live2clays.com, best e-learning portal for IIT JE, NEET and Foundation. Hello students, in this video I will discuss how to calculate energy of activation and rate constant by using Arrhenius equation. The problem says that the time required for 10% completion of a first order reaction at 298K is equal to that required for its 25% completion at 308K. Here you can see that the reaction is of first order and so at this temperature, this is the initial temperatures, at this temperatures the reaction gets completed by 10%. It means that initial amount is 100 and when uh, the reaction gets completed by 10% then remaining amount will be 100 minus 10 is equal to 90. This is the uh, this is the final amount, your remaining amount. Same concept we apply here also in the second part. Here it, it says that 25% reaction gets completed at 308K. It means that initial amount is 100 and when it gets completed by 25%, reaction gets completed by 25%, the remaining amount will be 100 minus 25 is equal to 75. This is the remaining amount. Now we can apply the formula for the first order of reaction. The formula is K is equal to 2.303 and here we have time log initial amount upon final amount. We can plug in the values. We assume that at this temperatures, at this is the initial temperature, at this temperature rate constant is K1. Here we have 2.303 and time log initial amount is 100 and final or remaining amount is 90. This is the setup we get for this initial temperatures. Now at the second temperature that is the final temperature we write the reaction we assume that at T2 the rate constant is K2 is equal to here we have 2.303 upon T that is time log initial amount is 100 here we have 100 upon final amount is 75 I put up here 75. Now we can simplify these two expressions and find out the ratio between K1 and K2. Because we need K1 K2 ratio in finding Ea value when we apply Arrhenius equation. Now we can divide these uh, two expressions, the expression which we get K1 upon K2. And here we have these two things will cancel out and the set of which we get we can divide log, uh, log bracket 100 upon 90. Here we get the value, let me use the calculators, 100 uh, is divided by 90. The value which we get that is 1.111 and its log value is 0 0.0458. Here we have 0 0.0458 upon. And so at the bottom we get log 100 upon 75. We can divide 100 by 75. The value which we get 100 by 75. This is the value we get and so its log value is here we get 0 0.125. Here we get 0 0.125. Now we can divide these values. Here we have, uh, sorry, it is 0 0.0458, 458, and it is divided by 0 0.125. This is the value we get, 0 0.3664, 0 0.3664. This is the rate constant ratio we get. Now, we apply Arrhenius equation. This is the initial temperatures. T1 and this is the final temperature. We can use Arrhenius equation to calculate energy of activation. Here we have any, uh, Arrhenius equation that is log K1 upon K2, K1 upon K2 is equal to Ea, this is what we are going to calculate upon 2.303 and here we have gas constant bracket 1 upon T2 minus 1 upon T1. Now we can plug in the values here log K1 and K2 ratio is that is 0 0.3664 is equal to here we have Ea upon 2.303 and R value is 8.314 8.314 and its unit is joules per mole K bracket 1 upon T2 initial no sorry this is the final temperature final temperature is 308 here we have 308 we can plug in the value 308 minus 1 upon 298 that is the initial temperature. Now we can do the calculation and find out energy of activation. We can the plug in the values here. Here we have the value already in calculators and so we just 
put uh, here we get log value minus 0 0.436 here we have minus 0 0.436 and on right side here we have ea upon 2.303 multiplied by 8.314 kk will cancel because temperature unit is also kelvin and so the value of energy of activation which we will get that will be in joules per mole bracket we can do the cross multiplication 298 minus 308 here we have 308 multiplied by 298 now here we can do the cross multiplication to find out ea value now we can subtract here we get 298 298 minus 308 the value which we get that is minus 10 here we have minus 10 and ea on left side and on right side we get minus 0 0.436 multiplied by 2.303 multiplied by 8.314 and we put up these values also uh, 308 and 298 minus minus will cancel out and so we can uh, we can transfer 10 on right side also so as a result here we get upon 10 now we can divide these values first we multiply and divide by 10 here we have 0 0.436 436 and it is multiplied by 2.303 multiplied by 8.314 this is gas constant value 314 and multiplied by 308 multiplied by 298 this is the value we get and it is divided by 10 the value which we get that is this is quite large value we can write this in scientific notation the value which we get that is 7.662 multiplied by 10 to power 4 here we have 7.662 multiplied by 10 to power 4 and it is in joules per mole we can write this value in kilojoules per mole also here one kilojoule is equal to 1000 uh, joules and so joules joules will cancel out now we can divide this value by 1000 the value which we get in kilojoules per mole that is uh, here we get 76.62 here we get 76.62 and it is in uh, kilojoules per mole this is energy of activation now in the second part of the question it says that find out the rate constant rate constant at 3 118k at this temperature we have to find out rate constant k value we again apply Arrhenius equation the formula is log k is equal to log a a value is given this is the a value is given pre exponential factors minus ea upon i uh, here we have 2.303 2.303 and it is rt r is a gas constant value it is the temperature now we can plug in the values here k value we have to calculate is equal to log a value is given here 4.4.0 uh, multiplied by 10 to power 10 here we have 4 multiplied by 10 to power uh, 10 is equal to no sorry it is minus e a value we have already calculated and so we have to use the value in joules per mole k because r value is in joules per mole so here <coughs> joules per mole k so it is this is the value we got in joules per mole 7.66 uh, 2 multiplied by 10 to power 4 here we have 7.66 uh, 2 multiplied by 10 to power 4 and it is in joules per mole k let me mention the unit also joules per mole joules per mole and here at the bottom we have 2.303 r value is 8.314 and its unit is joules per mole k and temperature is uh, 318 318 and k k k will cancel out joules per mole joules per mole will cancel out now we can simplify it we can plug in the values here here we get uh, 4 multiplied by 10 to power 10 here we have 10 to power 10 and its log value is here we have the log value that is 10 uh, 10.60 here we have 10.10.60 and and here we get uh, 7. 7.662 multiplied by 10 to power 4 and at the bottom we can multiply the bottom numbers 
here we have at the bottom so that is 2.303 and it is multiplied by 8.314314 and then we multiply by temperature value that is 318 this is the value you get 6088.79 here we have 6088.79 now we can divide this value is equal to 10.60 minus 7.6 662 and it is multiplied by 10 to power 4 and it is divided by 6088.79 and the value which we get that is 12.58 here we have 12.58 now we can do the subtraction here we have 10.60 minus 12.58 and uh, we do the subtraction here we get minus 1.98 here we get is equal to minus 1.98 this is log k value log k now we can transfer log as a, we it will go as an anti log here here we get k is equal to 10 to power minus 1.98 now we can take uh, 10 to power minus 98 here we get 1.98 and it is negative and 10 to powers here we get this is the value we get we can write this value in scientific notation 1.047 k value 1.047 and multiplied by 10 to powers minus 2 and it is per second this is how you can see that pre exponential factor is given in per second that's why we get k value in per second you can see that how I calculated rate constant and energy of activation value by using Arrhenius equation. This is this is one Arrhenius equation and this is another Arrhenius equation. Thank you. If you like this video, please click the like button. If you have any questions or suggestions, please comment below. For more updates on IIT JE or need exams, please subscribe to our channel to get lot of updates. Support us by following us on Facebook and Twitter. To sharpen your skills, please try out our test series on livetotalage.com. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.